So, uh, yeah, no, I think Enigma finally got its revenge after all this time. We might have, we lost the first Enigma run, uh, back in the day of the channel before I had my good mic. And I think Enigma, Enigma's Revenge 4 is the first, is the time that Enigma did indeed get its revenge. Hello everyone, Radvlad here. What you're looking at is Felicia, the planet in which Enigma's Revenge 5 will take place. If you remember from the last episode, Enigma beat us. It beat us bad. Like, really, really bad. It was rather embarrassing, to say the least. But that's why we're back, and better than ever. We're gonna destroy Enigma. We're gonna beat it this time. It might have stopped us last time, but it's not gonna stop us this time. I chose a large world with five different areas. So this is gonna be probably one of the biggest uh, Enigma worlds we've ever done. So I'm very curious to start this off. Hopefully it doesn't immediately start in a soft lock, but we'll see. Who this is gonna be interesting. We have 111 rooms, three bosses, 74 items, style balanced, areas five, screens 340. Like this is insane. This is the most insane uh, super world we've ever done. And what better way to start the insanity than to start with literally the exact same uh, ship room from the last one. Truly incredible. But, at least the music is different. Now we finally have Surface of SR388, which, hell yeah. Probably my favorite... I'd say outside of staff credits from Metroid Prime, this is my favorite theme in the entire franchise. It's just so good. It just really is. Mm -mm -mm. But yes, this is Enigma's Revenge 5. Last time it obviously beat us. We got very close to the end, but we couldn't quite make it. So, hoping that this time it'll go much better. And I'm not really getting hopeful that, considering that our starting room is quite literally the exact same as it was last time, we all saw how well that went, so... Uh, I'll actually get this upgrade first. Probably be a good idea. But anyway, this music's a lot more of a bop than the music that was there last time. So I'm feeling way more hopeful, because this is like one of my favorite themes in all of Metroid. It's so good. We're on a whole new adventure. There cannot be anything bad. This is a new progress to be made. A new adventure to be done. Surely it will go well. You know that it can't end bad. What could possibly go wrong? I'm fairly certain, at least. Yeah, I'm dumb. Okay. I'm very dumb confirmed. Okay, Ice Beam. Ice Beam. Okay, that's that's good. Because that means we can actually go up. So, we should be good. Okay, yeah, I'm just big dumb, apparently. I am very much big dumb. We're off to a great start, aren't we? I totally forgot. I don't know, just listen to the SR388 music, it's gonna keep me calm. Do 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 do, that was embarrassing. Oh well, that's how it goes sometimes. Nothing that we can do now here. Surely we'll have better luck. I won't get stuck ever again. What well, can go wrong? I am confident. We will win this eternal fight. Enigma won't beat us again. Oh, do I can't even stop saying. I just like I like this theme so much. Like it's just so good. It just is that good of a theme, you know. Oh shit. Oh no 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 no. Die time. It is die time. Right, we kind of need high jump for that. Or conversely, we could wait till this this uh, crabby man. Mr. Krabs, uh, you know, slows the hell down. Bow, 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 bow. Boom, 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 boom. Bow, 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 bow. No. 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 Shist. Okay, I have an, uh, I have an idea. I have a bloody tight No, we're gonna we're gonna make this work. We're gonna cut out. I'm gonna be ending up cutting out so much of this opening segment because of how much time we've wasted. It's fine though. 
It is a okay. Okay, we can at least do this area now, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully. Theoretically, we can. Okay, this is gonna be a little annoying. Finally, jeez. Okay, make the jump. Oh my god, I hate this room. Just give me, give me, give me missiles. Thank you. Oh my god. Words cannot describe how annoying that was. I skipped through most of it because it was a lot of swearing, I will say. But like, dude, you have no idea how much that was, how bad that was. That was awful to deal with. I did not enjoy any part of that. Just for there to be wasps at the top. You're lucky I didn't die, game. Or else I would have, would have had some choice words. Alright, don't die. I'd prefer to explore more of the area, because... Okay, well, I'm not climbing back up, that's for sure. So you're telling me I should have just killed that... Oh my god, this room. It would be so much easier if I had a high jump, because then we wouldn't need to deal with that garbage. But yes, I skipped through a lot. We're at, to give you an idea, we're already at 12 minutes into the recording. And, uh, you know, there's a lot that's been skipped, but thank god we can just go through the middle now. If we want to head back up top, then I don't ever want to go up top, actually. I'm just gonna stay down here. We, we never go to that top room until we get, like, space jump or whatever. Because there is no way in hell I'm ever doing that garbage again. At least we have the shortcut now. That is the only silver lining here. Okay, now we just need to grind for missiles that they're never gonna give us. Okay, just one more. It's gonna give us energy, right? Yeah, no, it's gonna, it's gonna give us nothing instead. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Okay, so it might have been a really, really rough start to this, the Enigma world. It's fine, though. I'm sure it's gonna get better. I'm definitely not angry. I'm just pissed, okay? Okay. I really don't like this particular person's Manny. Like, these rooms look cool, but I don't really like them at all. They look super cool. They're well made. I just hate all of them. <laughs> I just dislike them greatly. Alright, we just gotta find all the secret little, uh, things, because I know I've dealt with these rooms before in the failed Enigma worlds I tried doing, and oh no, it's this one? Oh man. So this one I remember, basically there's a ton of secret areas that, you know, Enigma is really, is really just wants us dead this time, is what I'm noticing here. It really wants us to suffer. It was not happy with us the first three times. It's, I think it's it's trying to keep us on that track of not being able to win. But you know what? It's not gonna happen. I was trying to burst in this thing and it sounded really weird. Okay. But you know what? Enigma, you'll never win. I will never surrender now. May as well give up all hope of winning. You won't win this epic battle. I can't lose this, you bet your ass. This is my final stand. I won't give in now. You can strike me down, cause I always come back and better than never. And not go with the beat at all, but it's fine. So basically, yeah, there's like a secret little thing in each area, and it's really annoying every time. Do new 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 I think I vaguely remember where they all are, but you basically gotta kill all these stupid gamer enemies. And then this room will never become an issue in later, which is the only good part of this. I didn't know he could even do that. He just kinda crawled on the other enemy. I didn't think that was a That's an interesting glitch at least. That's kinda cool. Never seen that one before. Okay, let's not die to the stupid gamer enemy. Oh god. Okay, let's just grind. Yeah, come on, get owned. Making n very slow progress. It's fine, though. It happens. So that, that brinking lead border around our minimap shows us that we still have more enemies to kill before we can move on, which is it's kind of cool, I guess, that it shows us that. The only silver lining, though, is that there is upgrades at top that we can get, at least, even if we can't progress, you know? So there is stuff good up there. So we got more missiles, which is always good to see. 
Okay, we totally missed. It was kind of embarrassing how bad we missed, actually. But yeah, I'm very familiar with this room, unfortunately. I've dealt with this room so many dang times. You don't. Okay, more missiles. I'll take it. So yeah, this is, uh, there is one more upgrade. Is you, I think it's an energy tank, maybe? Yeah, there we go. So, like, I do know this room. I just don't remember the, the, where the last one was exactly. The last secret. I know there's, like, one right over here. We have to be, like, very accurate with where the whole... There it is. This isn't the last one. This is just one of them. Man, we have an energy tank, so I'm feeling a bit better. Like, yes, this has been a very rough start to the Enigma world. But you know what? This is... This is the biggest Enigma world I have ever done. And, you know, this is, like, probably the finale of the Enigma Revenge series. I mean, I might do another one, honestly. But, like, for now, you know, I think this is a good send-off for a little bit. So I forget which tile it is. I know it's, like, in a weird ceiling tile, but I don't actually think it's over in this, this, this area. For some reason, this area is, like, the only one... Like, that particular screen is the only one that doesn't actually have a secret. I'm pretty sure it's, like, right here. Like in a really, it's right there. It's like in the weirdest place possible. It's the last one we got to deal with, though. So after we take out this one, we should theoretically be good. If we could be better at the game. There we go. We got it. So there you go. Very long room, but we finally got through it. Oh, not this dude. This guy just does not know when to stop. This guy's vile. With these rooms. At least there's not, this isn't an enemy requirement one. I'm just glad about that. Eh, oh, mother brain thing. It's, we've made it clear. Now it's over here. Okay, so we've got some branching paths. That's always good. Branching paths are just always good to see in Enigma, because that means less of a chance to get soft locked. Metagria, or oh, I'll mix it harder. Okay, small bridge. I think we had this room last time. Okay, I might get some repeats, but this time I actually had the room pool to be a little bit higher from older, like, I have basically every room that I've ever had for any of the Enigma's Revenges. So, like, this has, instead of having, like, a 600 uh, room pool, I had it to be, like, I think 1,200? Thir no, it was 1,300 rooms that we could have possibly gotten. So, we have a lot to, we have a lot that could happen here. Okay, more missiles. So, oh wait, these are definitely... Okay, so, ooh, I like, I like this room, though. This is nice. I appreciate this room a lot, actually. Oh, we don't have bombs, though. We needed to get the last one. How sad. Tall Crater, crater Vader. Is that what it's called? Okay, well, I don't really know what to do with this room yet. Oh, man, we don't have enough missiles for that. Kind of wasted them all. All right, let's get some more, then. All right, grab two from you. Now head over to this other room and grind some more missiles. Which we have to waste the missile in order to access. This is a kind of a fortunate place for the missiles, I will say. Alright, I'm gonna get a couple extra just in case. If they give me a couple extra, they did. Surprising, they're actually nice to me. That's never a thing that happens. Eh. Enigma's trying its hardest to, you know, steer me off, to discourage me from continuing playing, but I'm not gonna let it win. I'm gonna I'm gonna teach it a lesson about trying to beat me. Is that you can't beat me. I always come back. Stronger each time. Okay, that's where it is. Alright. Ah, oh, you gotta re it resets every time I forgot. Ooh. Alright, well new area at least. This direct ship. Uh. Mm, mm. I mean, this is Crateria is like, like the theme that plays after you leave Brinstar for the first, like old Brinstar for the first time. So, I think it, I think it is wreck ship. From Samus Returns. All right. Well. I don't remember, recognize this place from Sam's Turns, but it's been a while since I've played that game, so that's probably why. Wreck turn left. See, so yeah, I think, like, this this guy's particular rooms we've used a lot in the past. He had, like, 200 before, so... I tried to turn on, like, the, the creators that have, like, a ridiculous number of rooms, like, 200s, I put them on preferred off, just so we wouldn't see them as much, so we'd have a bigger variety of creators. 
So I, I configured it a little bit differently than I normally do. Alright, we haven't really found anything interesting so far. There hasn't even been a single upgrade in the wreck ship, which, I mean, to be fair, there usually isn't. But, oh, it's a little weird. We haven't found anything interesting. Come on. There we go. Major item room. Avaria suit this early. That's kind of huge, actually. Because that means we can get through any hazard room now. And also, 50% damage reduction is always a good thing. So, I mean, hey, I'll take very early Varia suit any day of the week. That's kind of huge. Not, a, not really the best progression upgrade, but... I mean, hey, I'll take it. And Ice Beam can substitute a lot of high jump puzzles, even if that last one was actually painful. Like, God, it was horrible. Okay. So, Wreck Ship seems to have a lot of just rooms that don't really lead anywhere, is what I'm noticing here. Everyone has made one. Oh, bombs. If only we had Morph Ball. To be fair, again, getting bombs is useful. It's just that I wish we had Morph Ball to go with it. So once we get Morph Ball, we'll be kind of all set in any puzzle the game throws us, except Spring Ball puzzles, because that's actually what screwed us over last time. And that's something that I, did, I didn't even think would screw us over. Like, I totally forgot that that was a thing that could possibly mess up our run. It was so sad. So, yeah. But yeah, so... I mean, I think we're making... Like, it took us a very long time to get out of that first area, but... I'm feeling pretty hopeful now, since we, you know, we got past the hard part, so it's only going to get easier from here. Well, theoretically, get easier from here. Because that first criteria was pretty dang rough, the first go through it. There's so many looping paths around here. Oh, wait, dude, okay, Wreck Ship is really insane with the amount of upgrades it's giving us. Like, old Varia Suit bombs and wave beam. Alright, well, our firepower is now at, like, almost maximum, minus Spazer, so... We just need to get Spazer, and then we should be good. I think it's interesting, because Spazer Beam, obviously, was never in Metroid 1, but it was also never in Zero Mission, either. Like, the Spazer Beam just straight-up never existed in that game. It was replaced by the Long Beam, which was interesting. Well, not replaced, but it was just, like, the item slot was replaced by it. So it's interesting. Very interesting, if you think about it. So I guess it kind of makes sense that, like, so it's interesting because, like, Spazer Beam wasn't even in the Zero Mission remake. It wasn't even, it wasn't in the original. It wasn't in the Zero Mission. Like, you know, it wasn't Zero Mission. It's in Planets, though. So it's technically the first time the Spazer Beam has ever been in the game based on Metroid 1. Not as dead ends. Well, I see why not. I mean, this does feel like the wreck ship, I will admit. Because, like, even those craters that we've already got, I've already, like, done before a lot, there's a ton of rooms that we just didn't get in the first three Enigma's Revenge. Like, there's a ton of rooms we haven't gotten. And the main reason I think it's just this one guy with all these wreck ship rooms, because he's kind of the only person who makes wreck ship rooms. Everyone else kind of just forgets it's an area, apparently, is what I've noticed. At least with these. It just seems that way, you know? Sad, too. Wreck ship's kind of chill. That's where my boy Fantoon is. Like, come on. How can you hate Fantoon? He's awesome. Alright. Yeah, we're going a lot, around a lot of circles, aren't we? I mean, I mean, I'm glad we found another major area, and it's been giving us a ton of upgrades, like an insane number of upgrades, but... The uh, only thing we're really missing right now is we kind of... I just feel like you can only have one missile out at a time in this game. Definitely makes it harder to, you know, fight enemies sometimes, but it's okay. Long room. Dead ends. But hey, I mean, I'm always gonna, I'm always down to take an energy tank. Because this seems, like, the wreck ship just seems like a good area to get a bunch of items from. Because we are pretty stacked right now. I mean, none, none of the upgrades, I mean, bombs are a good progression, up, like, are obviously the best of progression upgrades. But we haven't really gotten a morph ball for it, so it's not too useful as of right now. And Varia Suit and Wave Beam are more just, like, helpful upgrades rather than being, like, major necessity upgrades. Alright, well, I actually have an idea here. Hmm. Actually, wait a minute. How's this work? Huh, okay, I see a way up. We just gotta wait a little bit. We just gotta play the waiting game. See, Ice Beam is useful. Very useful indeed. Nothing over here. 
Man, this place just keeps going on. Alright, take you out. This was a dangerous room. Alright, we wait for the sparks. Then we go. Oh my god, this just keeps going. Okay, well this is definitely a different room, that's for sure. From Metroid 2. Since when did Metroid 2 have this room? Alright, well we can't, we clearly don't have the Morph Ball upgrade, so we'll have to return to Rex Ship eventually. Honestly, I think with how far we are into Rex Ship, I think we should just reset. Because I, I think that's just slightly quicker than whatever else we can do here. Alright, but we still have a lot of paths to go, so it's not, it's not hopeless yet, you know. Still playing, like, we can, st like, in our, uh, spawn point area, there's another way up. So, like, we still have a lot of different ways we can go right now. So, things are still looking pretty good on our part. Oh, uh, we gotta, should've saved that enemy. It seems I've made a poor mistake. Alright, there we go. Hell yeah, man. Let's go over here. Oh, another upgrade. No. Well, it says no bombs. Is there a way to do it without bombs? Like, is that, is that what I'm... Nah, you do need bombs. Curse you. I mean, at least it's just missiles, so it's not really a useful upgrade, but, like... I mean, hey, I still like getting missiles. Like, missiles are still helpful. Alright. Alright, let's head out of here, then. I didn't take it. Oh, yeah, I'm stupid. Wait, no, we have the one... We have the, the wave beam. We can get past that now. I was like, I just did not register. It's like, oh yeah, we have Wavy. Now we can actually get past that. It's funny, because there actually are map rooms now in uh, Metroid Planet. So this is clearly... Like, there's some old rooms in here that were made before that was a thing. So I think it's kind of funny that we're actually seeing a map room, but there actually is map rooms now. Um... I mean, this kind of was a bust. Okay, well, that was kind of a worthless backtracking trip. So I'm gonna pop these things with these videos. I gotta edit a lot of it out in post because a lot of it's just me wandering and not really accomplishing anything. That's fine now. That's the Metroid way. Let's head back to Criteria. I think we've exhausted the wreck ship for now. Do do. Let's get to hear it more surface of SR388. Do do. Well, we have bombs, but not really the morph ball. Do 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 do. We will not give up, we still have a hope to give. You will not strike me down anymore, you can't beat me, you know that too. Alright, crab tunnel. I'll be the- actually, we don't need to kill all the enemies. Alright, this is indeed a crab tunnel though. It's a tunnel with some crabs, so I mean, it wasn't lying at least. That's always- oh, this is interesting. I don't know what the hell the name means, but it's something. That's for sure. Words of wisdom with Rad Lad. It was something, all right. All right. Uh, more ways to go. Let's go. I love Branch Pass. Oh, hey, another elevator. Cursed ele- Is it? Oh my God, it's cursed, guys. It's cursed. Um, are we supposed to be able to? If only we could do that. Okay, well, let's keep that in mind. That there is an upgrade, perhaps, over there, but we kind of need the other thing. Also, this room looks familiar. Mm -hmm. oh, this is a fusion remix, definitely. I think it's Sector 2, Tro. Oh, finally, Morph Ball. I'm going to quickly grab that upgrade, then. Alright, so I'm feeling pretty good about this run, because we already have a lot of good movement upgrades. Like, because, I mean, high jump, I guess, and space jump, but, like, honestly, we're doing really good. Like, I'm feeling very good about this so far. We got plenty of good upgrades. Like, again, started off very rough, but... It's starting to turn out very promising. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I should be like a little bit far away. There we go. That's actually kind of a. That's kind of cruel though. You can hide miss like upgrades in uh, these rooms, and you wouldn't really know it either. 
because it doesn't show up on the map that there's the upgrade in here. That's a cruel way to hide a secret, honestly. Very evil. I mean, it's pretty obvious to find it, but still. Very cruel. I think it was kind of like that last time, though, with the, like, the triple uh, elevator room. I just didn't really pay attention to it because they were so obvious. And I kill you guys. Energy tank. Let's go. Alright, I think this room tripped us up last time. Oh, uh, no, it wasn't this room exactly. Yeah, Morph Ball is nice. It's always good to have Morph Ball. So many rooms are designed around it. Same with bombs, too. This is a cool idea for a room, though. I really like this room. Like, this is sick. Like, having to thaw everything out. Ooh, okay. Alright. Plus this remix of Tro is awesome. Hope it's Tro. I hope I'm not just being dumb, but I think it is Tro. Because I love Fusion's music, and Fusion's music I feel like does not get the like the respect it deserves. I feel like like Fusion's soundtrack is the most underrated Metroid uh, soundtrack aside from like Dreads. Because I don't get why everyone and their mother hates Dreads soundtrack. Like it's not even that bad. It's quite good actually, I'd argue. Like, it's not the best in the series or anything, but, like, I'm not expecting, I'm not saying, like, it's just as good as Prime's, because, let's be honest, what's, what soundtrack is as good as Prime 1's? I love Prime 2 more, but, like, Prime 2, I mean, Prime 1, it has the better soundtrack. I think we can all agree on that one. Like, Prime 2 has some bangers, of course, but we should make a Metroid music tier list. I mean, I have a whole month of Metroid videos to make, so I could totally make some of them. Like, nobody said I had to do, well, I didn't say I have to do, um... Just uh, video games, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna not find this upgrade yet. I feel like we need long beam forks or like something that just make it a little bit easier to find it. Unless I'm just shooting the one tile that isn't correct, which is always a possibility with me. Alright, this room's definitely familiar. I just feel like there might be an upgrade around here somewhere, but I could also be wrong about that one. Alright, two red doors, how mysterious. Oh, hey, this is a Metroid 1 room. You can tell with the enemy spam. To be fair, it still looks a hell of a lot better than Metroid 1. This is actual background tiles, and everything's made out of a different material, and it looks really good. Like, Metroid 1 would be so improved if it just had, like, cool background details like that. Alright. Frozen Chozo. Oh, I remember this one. There's no way to get this Chozo statue. This is basically just a transitional room. Also, I think this is uh, the boss room, right? It's usually what that indicates. Oh, it's this trade. Okay, well... Please die. You die. Like, Craig? Like, I'd really appreciate it if you, like, did not live anymore. That'd be kind of chill, honestly. Ah, dude, I hate Craig, because Craig, there's literally no strategy involved with Craig. He is, like, the most, he is literally a luck-based boss fight. It's just, you have to tank hits. There's absolutely no skill whatsoever involved. Like, I, like, you can't even tell me that there is, because there just straight up isn't. Especially with that room layout, like, there's nothing I can really do with that. Like, he's on top of a spike pit, like, what am I even meant to do in that scenario? Because obviously you can freeze his spikes and stuff, but you can't really freeze his spikes if he's in that weird of an angle. It's just a bad crate boss fight room. A very bad one indeed, and of course we got it both times. Our luck never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, die time. Our luck is just somehow always bad. It's rather impressive, I suppose. Oh, not the scree drop room. This was in like Enigma's Revenge 2, I think. 
Oh, my... Oh, wait, we can totally cheese it. Well, not really totally cheese it, because the wave beam... Without a uh, long beam, has its limitations for sure. We. Oh, we get to do this like a billion times. Okay, well, thrilling gameplay. All right, hopefully we can kill all these guys. All right, so just gonna go on the the right side over here, and then we should be able to do it in two goes. It's a cool idea for a room, it's just a slight bit annoying. Kill him on the way down. Actually, wait, is there rooms up there? I just didn't even look. Oh, there is. Okay, well, it's a pretty good hub room, at least. Alright, let's get some more power-ups. Alright, god, we've already gotten five energy tanks. Like, we've gotten almost as many energy tanks as we have missiles. Like, that's insane. It's not supposed to happen. I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining, though. It's always good to get that. Oh, space jump already. Okay, who cares about high jump, then? The high jump is kind of worthless now, don't you think? Well, that's a huge upgrade to get early. I mean, like, the high jump just makes it so that, you know, I guess we can go more distance per jump, but, like, who cares? In some way, space jump might actually work better without high jump. Okay, well that's a huge upgrade to get. Like, that's insane. That means that nothing... We can just space jump over everything now. Well, with my, uh... Maybe not this room particularly. But, like, look at this. Now we can just do that, so we don't need to waste our time anymore. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep exploring Crazy Lair. Oh, hey, Mario again. Getting a lot of repoots. Repoots. Repeats. Not repoots, whatever the hell I just said. Alright, more missiles. Go! Ah, uh, no, I forgot they're in the pipes. They're in the pipes. Alright, alright. So many enemies, jeez. So many. Alright, we got this, though. We're making some serious progress right now. Wiggle Worm? I don't know if I like that name. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of it. Okay, give me that energy. Give me that E. We got this. We are going to make it to the very top, and I am going to... Obtain victory, and nobody is gonna stop me. I want to make that very clear. Ooh, get owned. Get owned. Alright. Blow you up. Blow you up. No, wait. No, I'm gonna blow you up, too. Just so I can... Cause see, look, I can grab your energy. Can't handle my space jump prowess. Ooh, get owned. Ooh, get destroyed. Alright, we are making... Why is it so long? Okay, so it's the, I think the bomb room in Metroid 2, I, rec I recognize it vaguely. Metroid 2 has some weird stuff. And naturally, it shouldn't require a spring ball, right? Oh, no, it's the Varya suit room. All that for a single missile tank, that entire long route just for a single missile tank. Alright, I'm gonna backtrack back just so I can go the other ways, because man, that is, that is one hell of a route to... <laughs> Get these one missile tanks. Thank you, Enigma. Okay, I get. The, oh, no, I didn't mean to get that morph ball. No, curse you. There you go. Finally got it. That took forever to get the jump timing right that time. Hopefully, that's all that's over there. Cause I really don't feel like doing this all again. This insane backtracking path. Because even with Space Jump, it's still annoying. Okay, come on. Ooh, come on. Okay. We hold forward and we can continue moving. So another cruel thing that plants did, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but... Originally, elevator tile, like, the elevator, like, lines would not show up if there are rooms in between areas. That is no longer a thing, so we can't use that as a hint to determine where certain rooms could possibly be. The game is too cruel now. The creator apparently hates me. Yeah, Metroid 1's made a lot easier with Space Jump, huh? 
<laughs> I feel like Space Jump would break, like, OG Metroid 1 so bad. Oh, hey, this room again. Oh, we finally got Long Beam. Hell yeah. Alright, we got another missile upgrade. And then do we want to get a revenge on Kraid? Because we have, like, more energy and more missiles, so we should be able to kill him pretty no pretty easily. Um... Eh, yeah, sure, why not? But, like... It's just... I don't know, I love 2D Metroid, and, like, I'm still excited for Prime 4, don't get me wrong. Like, it's... Like, Prime 4, I am ecstatic for. It's just that... Dread definitely helped hold me over, so, like... If Dread takes a while, that's fine. If Prime 4 takes a while, that's fine, because we we got Dread. Come on. Dread's like the neck is like the only thing that's better than Prime 4, honestly. And then Prime Remaster is also a really good way to hold over fans, in my opinion. Also, this is this room we just never went to. Because on the Prime like Prime Remaster is still hype as hell. Alright, let's see what's over here. Is that gonna be another dead end? Mere Rorum. It's supposed to say room, and they just messed. I I don't. I don't know what it's supposed to say. All right, at least it's not a wild. Oh, this room again. And a surprising number of repeats, I will say. More missiles. At least we're not running out of missiles, that's for sure. Crate's gonna go down this time. We ain't prepared for how many more missiles we got this time. All right, I just need more missiles. I mean, energy's nice and all, but I don't really need it in this case. We just skip that elevator, can't we? <laughs> yeah, we don't even need elevators anymore. We can just kind of skip them. Because we were just built different. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get some more missiles before we fight Kraid. I and mean, we're basically at max, but... Up we go. Problem is, Kraid is like at the end of such a long tunnel. Don't you kill me. They're almost at max missiles. You've hit max missiles. Just run. Don't deal with any more enemies that we don't want to deal with. I forget those ice spikes in the ground actually hurt us. Alright, we're basically at full health and we have full range uh, wave beam, which means we can totally cheese Kraid if we really want to. We also have way more missiles this time, so it's fine. He's just like, this is just such a bad arena for him, honestly. Like, this is terrible how bad this is. Oh my god, how do we not hit any of those spikes? Oh, oh god, hit any of them. Please. I beg of you. Come on. Get him where it hurts. There we go, got him. We have killed Kraid. We did it. We have defeated the first boss. We're done with this area, I'm fairly certain. Let's head back up. Do we want to make a detour back to the wreck ship? There's nothing really stop. Oh, we probably go this way first. We just kind of never explore this other way. We're too busy beating the entirety of Kraid's lair first. So yeah, Enigma, you know, this is much... Like, I mean, aside from the rough start again, like, this has been a much easier ride than the other one was. Ooh, secret upgrade. Oh, another elevator. Oh, hey, it's an Emmerich room, too. Emmerich rooms are always hype. If you don't know Emmerk Azor, he's uh, one of my most loyal subscribers, and he also was the person responsible for our uh, that those two epic super worlds that I played in Subscribers Enigma back in February. So if you haven't seen those videos, check it out. There it is. Oh, that's a thing we kind of needed the space jump for, huh? Well, I guess IBJs have also been able to do that too, but I don't know. IBJs are kind of useless now because we got space jump. I mean, it's still useful if, like, the gap up top's only one, since we don't have midair. Morph ball. Huh. It's fake lava? Yes, it is. I was hoping. I'm like, huh, this might be an issue. Alright, just like Super Metroid. 
kind of makes me wish they would have the gravity suit, you know? I think that'd be cool. Like, have water. Oh, wait, that's just straight up... Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. That's a, that's a screw attack I see over there. Alright, let me in here. Give me that screw attack. Alright, that's another really overpowered item we have already. What are we even missing? High jump is kind of useless, right? Because, like, why would we need a high jump with Ice Beam and Space Jump? Like, it's just two... And IBJs. Like, we have every upgrade to not use it with. It's like, I honestly don't think high jump is useful. Honestly, the only, I think, progression upgrade we're missing... Because everything else is kind of more optional. Like, the only progression upgrade we're missing is Spring Ball, I'm fairly certain. That's it. So we're looking really good. And Spring Ball is, like, the rarest... The most rarely used progression upgrade. Oh, this is actual real lava, huh? Huh. That's funny. So, uh... Um... Hmm... Huh, yeah, we're gonna do a whole uh, little bit of that, just because that room does not seem to be... Maybe not the best designed room in the world. On account of us, it being a little bit impossible to, uh, you know... Do anything with that. I wonder if it's possible. It's probably possible to get up this room without space jump just by using, uh. Like ice beam and stuff, but I really don't want to try that. We already had to deal with ice beam shenanigans earlier, and I'm not really in the mood to do it again. So this is very much. This is very much a space jump room, though. I just kind of wish you could, you know, get back up after falling, maybe. That, that might be nice. And the superheated room can't really do anything else. The rat's nest. Who's the rat? When did this turn to Five Nights at Candies? Are we doing, why are we dealing with the rat? The question is, do we have to deal with the rat? Oh, there's High Jump. Okay, cool. So now we're... I think we're only missing Spring Ball and Spazer, right? Is that what we're missing? I think so. Yeah, no, I think it's just Spring Ball and Spazer is all we're missing in terms of upgrades, which is kind of insane. We've done a really good job on items. Like, we're only at 39%, yet we've already gotten all but two of the major upgrades. So we just need Spring Ball, and we're all set. Because Spacer is not really that important, even if it's a cool upgrade. And it does make the high jump even better. I mean, the, spa the space jump even better, just because, you know, we get way more height. Oh, hey, this room again. We're getting a lot of repeats. You'd think out of a thousand rooms, we get some new ones, considering it's only really a pool of a hundred. Well, I mean, uh, you, can't, you can't win them all. Get owned. Oh, these guys are a little bit more challenging than I thought. Okay, we are really good at being accurate. Alright, just go in screw attack mode, they can't kill us. Alright, where are these layers looking pretty intense? Long path again. Man, this is just a Ridley room of repeats. I just hope we don't get that one stupid, uh... Um... What was it called? Stupid, uh, uh, spring ball room again, because that'll be annoying. That room is now the bane of my existence. Alright, I really hope there's not that many branching paths here, or I'll... Or, we, I hope we don't die, at least. So that would kind of suck. Ing Under Temple. Yo! Metroid Prime 2 support. Let's go. Love Metroid Prime 2. I actually might do a, a randomizer for this month, because, again, the month of Metroid. Which you might think, why wouldn't I do Metroid? That would have made a lot more sense. And the truth is, I'm just too hyped on Metroid to wait till May, so... Can we not... Oh, we can... Oh, these guys are way easier to kill with screw tech. Holy crap. So maybe we can't screw attack their nest, though. That's the only... That's the only downside with that, I suppose. Also, we gotta kinda kill these guys first. There we go, got it. We just gotta, like, time it. We have, like, one shot at it. Oh, not those spider enemies. I forgot those were even a thing in this... Not you, not you, not you, die. Why you have so much health? Jeez. Learn how to die. This, I don't like, I really hate this tunnel a lot. Like, I just want to make that clear. I do not like this tunnel. Or anything about it. It is rather annoying, to say the least. Alright, there's a, jeez, there's so many rooms. Okay, I do not want to actually enter there. I just want to go up. There's so many enemies, jeez. Holy sh... Holy shice, why are there so many enemies? Again, okay, I'm trying to reduce on the swearing thing, but I already know I've done a lot. Thankfully, most of the swears were excluded to the beginning of the video, which I have conveniently cut. 
Um, so we're all good with that. Okay, so there we go. The room's now open. We can go wherever the heck we want now. Alright, so where's this upgrade at? There's not even that many tiles to check, which is the funniest part of this. Oh, there it is. That's not even where the upgrade is, it's just a different... How big is this stupid room? It's cool looking as hell, but like, god, it is massive. There's a lot of things to check out here. Dang. High jump passage. <laughs> as if we need the high jump. Cool room, though. Yeah, Ridley's Lair is definitely a maze in this. Human Bullet. Oh, this is a cool room, though. I like this. I like the idea of this room. It just keeps going. These enemies have so much health. They just didn't have so much health, they're so annoying. Is it even worth getting that? So I don't want to die to Ridley, because then we have to backtrack all this way over here. So I don't like about it being like kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Come on. Dead end? Dead end. Well, that's a dead end, too. Dead end my ass. Okay, this is the actual... It actually is kind of a dead end. Just It's a dead end with an item. It's weird how that spawn works. I don't know. I'm gonna use it to grind though. To uh, this upgrade, it keeps uh, trying to tell us that there's that's here. Oh, it's right. It's right there. Well, it makes it a lot easier to figure that out. The mystery has been solved, it seems. Now we just need to quickly go to the complete opposite side of this room. This, this room is cool as hell. Don't get me wrong, but man, it is uh, rather annoying. All right. Alright, this is just a dead end. Generator. Give me that missile upgrade. You know, I, like, I'm just saying, I set it to be balanced rooms, I'm fairly certain, so... The fact we're getting a lot of hub-like rooms, I mean, I'm, not, I'm down for it. I, I like hub-like rooms, it means there's a lot of different options that go. It means upgrades are gonna spawn, it's not gonna be annoying, and we shouldn't have killed that enemy. So you don't have a spring ball yet, and that's like the one upgrade that would be kind of nice to have. How? How do we like overshoot it? Give me that. Give me that. Get those missiles. Yeah, let's go. Dead end C. So many dead ends. I think this is an actual dead end, though. I don't think there's actually anything over here. You gotta have some dead ends, I suppose. Even if it is depressing. And sad. And uncool. And not nice. And the worst. And uncalled for. <laughs> oh, I gotta make this jump again. Oh man, I don't want to do this again. At least I've gotten pretty good with bomb jumps in this. Definitely, because it, I don't know, they have more of like an actual good timing on like Zero Mission where it totally feels random. I'm sorry, but Zero Mission's bomb jump timing just, is, it just does not feel good. Warm pink chosa, what do you have for me? Missiles. Makes sense. Don't really know what else you'd have for me. Alright, let's head back in. Alright, there's not many more rooms to try out here. We're kind of exhausting them all. No, I don't want to fall the way down. 
Oh, I'm pretty sure that is Craig's room over there. Alright, now we, the way down is a lot quicker, thankfully. There's still another room down here we just didn't explore. I want to point that out, just to give you an idea of how ridiculous this one room has been. Clay's Lair might as well have just been this room, honestly. Break already, jeez, that one. Go away, nobody likes you, Hive. You're the worst. Alright, man. Ridley, turn right. What if I don't want to turn right, Ridley? Did you ever think about that one? Ridley's steam statue, yeah. I know what you're hiding, Ridley. Can't fool me, Rigidly. Is there actually nothing back here? I don't remember. Oh, it usually rev reveals stuff. Oh yeah, it's over here. I really hope that there wasn't that secret area last time in uh, the last Enigma world with that one Ridley statue. I really hope I wasn't there wasn't like a secret. Cause that would have been very sad if that was the case. Cause I'm down to check that one out again. Cause that is a possibility that could happen. All right, well we're at 49%. This has been a long one. We're at an hour and a minute. And it's currently one in the morning for me right now. To be fair, I have off tomorrow, thankfully, so I don't really need to... I'm off work, finally. For a day, I think. I don't know. My schedule only comes in at, like, Wednesdays for some reason, which... And not Wednesdays, Thursdays, so I don't find out till tomorrow. Oh no, I've revealed what day I've made this video, the horror. But, um... So, I don't know, they only... They, they upload... Like, you'd think they would have it ahead of time, but they... Not really. Oh, hey, Ridley. I'm not even at full capacity, but... Ridley is the easier of the fights compared to Kraid, so... Uh, Kraid, Kraid is much harder than Ridley, which is really funny. You'd think Ridley would be harder, but he's not. Even if, like, in a typical playthrough of Metroid 1, you'd fight... Wait, where's he going? Ridley, where, where are you? Ridley, my man, where are you going? Yeah, Ridley's, like, so much easier, because he has... His attack, because, like, he's not protected at all times like Kraid is. Like, Kraid is pretty much protected at all times. Whereas Ridley just straight up isn't. Like, he has some fireballs, but they're much easier to freeze. His hitbox is bigger than Kraid's. So, like, he's kind of easy to deal with compared to Kraid. Alright, well, we finally took out Ridley. Um, we took out both the mage bosses. We've hit 50% of upgrades, so clearly we're doing something right. Did lose a lot of health, though, so, I mean, that's always unfortunate. Oh, it's another fight room. It looks especially similar to the other one. Alright, kill you. And what's gonna lie over here? Aside from like a dead end, probably. Standing Chozo. Oh, hey, we got Spring Ball. Wait, th th does that mean we have every single major upgrade and we've only... How many area... Eh, the Torian's the only area I haven't been to, so it kind of makes sense that Torian wouldn't have anything. I'm pretty sure that's every single upgrade, except Spazer Beam, actually. We've missed that one. Alright, now we can't be softlocked in any way, because Spazer Beam isn't required for anything. All right, cool. That means we can beat this Enigma world, like, quite literally, no no matter what. Look both ways first. Is that alluding to the fact that there's something here? I don't think it is. Okay, is there anything else over here? Yeah, I think we've exhausted every single pathway. I'm fairly certain we have. Because I don't think there are actually any more doors. We took literally every route in that main area. Man, Ridley said it was literally just a long-ass hallway leading to a big hub. Finished Kraid's Lair, we finished that. Okay, yeah, I guess we'll head back to Criteria. It is cool that Norfair starts us with the Super Metroid uh, intro room, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, let's head back to Emmerich Land. See what else Criteria has. Oh yeah, I always forget it's SR388 surface that's playing. Do 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 do
We have made so much progress, haven't we? We can't be stopped. We are invincible. We will never be pro roadblocked again. I don't know the lyrics. This song is the best, you know it. This song absolutely slaps. It is peak Metroid, you think it. Oh, hey, Spaceship Beam. I mean, I'd go to we could have gotten the Spaceship Beam so much earlier if I just didn't skip this area. Because I was, like, panicking earlier. I, eh, it doesn't matter, at least. At least it was an important upgrade that we missed. Do, new, 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 new. We could still go all the way over there, too. There's so many areas to go, jeez. I'm gonna head over to this area first. We're gonna finish up Wreck Ship, then we're gonna explore the rough side of Crateria, and that should be the end. I feel like these next 50% items are gonna be much quicker. But yeah, like, this has been honestly a very enjoyable Enigma world. I again, aside from the very annoying thing we had to do in the beginning with, like, jumping up those enemies, I'd say this has been a very fun super world. And apparently I'm never gonna correct say the the words correct because I've said super world so many times over these two enigmas revenge videos that it's kind of crazy yeah we've clicked every single upgrade oh yeah we, we never got this upgrade I forgot about this one I mean, it's just another missile but I mean we can only get missile and energy tanks to be fair those are the only things that we can possibly get now oh we can finally see what the What's at the top of this room? Because I've never really... I've gone to this room a couple times in the failed Enigma worlds. I've never really actually been... able to see what's even at the top. Oh, Torian, right? We'll leave this for later. Yeah, you really need Space Jump for that. I guess IBJs technically you can get up there. It would just be really, really annoying. Alright, let's finish up uh, the wreck ship. We got very good. This is a very fun super because I feel like it's pretty light on backtracking, too. Like, you really don't need to backtrack that much. Unless you die, of course, but that's kind of its own thing. It doesn't really count. Get down. Alright, what lied in this room that we could not discover before? Ah, uh, that explains we couldn't see it before. Our beam simply did not reach far enough. Alright, let's get let's get this on. What does this room have for us? What is Metroid 2? Oh wait, no, I know this room. I actually was playing Metroid 2 on Nintendo Switch Online and I funny enough got i I kinda got lost for a second because I forgot that that tube was a thing. Ah, the memories. Good old Metroid 2. Classic conveyors. Oh, this is an actual wreck ship room. That's kind of cool. It's actually pretty sick. And since it's Super Metroid, I know exactly where. Oh yeah, we have Spring Ball. Keep uh, one of these times I'll remember I have Spring Ball. Middle one, right? Yeah. And there's nothing else over here, so. Well, there's wreck ship complete. At least to my knowledge, it's complete. There might be something else here, but let's head back. We're gonna go to the left side of Crateria, see what's over there. And I guess we're gonna tackle Torian. Once and for all. And honestly, this didn't take that long. Like, one hour and eleven minutes. Like, that's about as long as it took us to not finish the other one. That other one was a small suit. Was. Mm. I'm gonna start slapping myself every time I say Super World, because God. I said it like. I don't think I've actually said Enigma World, like, correctly the first time. I've always just said Super World. We're playing Mario Maker, actually. Uh, maybe one day I'll play Mario Maker on the channel. I have a bunch of Mario Maker 2 levels I could definitely farm some content out of. But it's Metroid, it's March Troid. We gotta, we gotta focus on the March Troid. Uh, it feels great blasting past this area. Now, I'm not doing another SR sur Surface song yet. We're gonna do that in a second. Not this time, though. It doesn't deserve it. My epic singing skills are so good. Eventually I'll make a good composition for it, but that day will not be today. Yo, this be like Kraid's Lair. Secret.
Oh, secret up here too, right? Huh. Surprising. I'm just checking. Looks suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Alright. Uh, there's a bunch of rooms over here that we couldn't really go to yet. I mean, I honestly might do another Enigma's Revenge, because we have so many rooms to check out, which is the crazy part. There's just so many dang rooms to check out. It's a tight fit. I mean, I guess, in a way, it is sort of a tight fit. And even more ways to go, I and mean, we don't even have another area elevator to go to. How oh, big is Great Area? Jeez. Very retro. Oh man, the nostalgia is real with this one. It's also very much not scaled right, too, which is the, the funniest part to me. But it's fine. It's fine. Oh wait, no, I get what it is. It's just a. It's just mashing a bunch of Metroid One's elements together. Actually, that's cooler. That's cooler. Man, apparently there's a lot of energy tanks over here. Yo, Phazon room. Let's let's drink up some Phazon. Woo! God, I love Phazon. It's so it's so delicious. There's nothing horrible or wrong with it. It's very healthy. Very healthy indeed. All right, victory time. Alright, so we need to find a way to get in here. I don't know why. This room gives me, like, serious uh, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror vibes. And I don't know why. It's like, okay, it's like this one room in Amazing Mirror where, like, you see the way forward, but you're, like, locked on, like, one side of the screen. But you can see, like, where the thing takes you. And it's like... Anytime I see a room that looks like that, like this room does, it's just, like, it reminds me of that. Every time. Every time. Have you ever I, I want to play Amazing Mirror on the channel. I do. I love that game so much. Oh, hey, Missile. Alright, I think that's everything up here. There's really just a lot of optional upgrades that we could have gone for. And before we end the tour, I'm actually going to check the map real quick. Just to see if there's any upgrades I've missed that are kind of within view, because I don't really feel like backtracking that much, but... Again, world download in the description, like always. I'll always have the world downloads. Alright, um, let's head down here, see what lies. Oh, another door. This looks suspicious. Can't fool me, game. Hmm, we gotta find a switch first, though. Huh. That looks suspiciously like the switch. Hmm. Alright, let me get you out of the way, because you're annoying me. Uh... That wouldn't really make any sense, would it? Oh, it's over here. I'm just... I'm just really good at games. It's funny, because in an early Enigma attempt, I actually did see this exact room, so I just totally forgot again. My memory is good, isn't it? I'm just so good at Metroid, it's kind of impressive. It's actually quite insane how good I am at this game. Alright, uh, all right, another way to go. I guess I'll go this way first. Explore all my options first, you know. Always good. Alright, missile. Missile. Alright, well, two missile expansions are always appreciated. Mother Brain doesn't, isn't even going to know what the hell hit her when I finally get to her. Because we didn't get the meter last time. Like, our last Enigma loss was even worse than the first one. Because at least in the first one, we got to see Mother Brain's face. We just couldn't do the escape sequence quite. Last time, we didn't even get to Mother Brain. Hell, we didn't even get to Ridley. Ridley got off scot-free. We didn't even get to murder him that time. It was unfortunate. So you know what? That's why I'm I'm pissed this time. Getting every upgrade, well, most of the upgrades it hopefully at least. We're gonna we're gonna beat the, the ever-loving crap out of the 
Ah, uh, little mother brain over there. Holy crap, this is one big room. Even more ways to go. Alright, this tube looks incredibly suspicious, so I'm gonna bomb it, and it's gonna lead to a secret. Yeah! So good at this game. It's one thing about Enigma, I feel like a lot of creators just like having a lot of secrets. Like, I feel like building secrets in Metroid games is the most fun part, which is why I'm like, my Metroid map, um, I have a lot of secrets built in, because I love secret finding. Like, that's like my one of my favorite parts of Metroid, is just building secrets. Like, in the Metroid map, I have to stop myself a lot of times from just having like a secret area in each room, because I just like hiding stuff like that. It's just fun to me. Flooded secret. What's the secret? It's up here? Well, it says there's a secret. They wouldn't lie about the secret now, would they? That'd be kind of rude, actually. If they, if they lied about the secret, I'd actually be a little bit angry. And, dare I say, unhappy. If they would lie about such a secret. This is one hell of a secret, though, I will say. I think with the power of the spring ball... Oh god, this room is... this room is... hurting my head. Oh god. I see it. I see the... I, see, I can see the end! Okay. Oh god. Um... Crap. Oh, where am I going? Which way is the correct way? I don't... I don't know. Help. Help. Somebody help me. I am currently having trouble deciphering where anything is. Am I going... I, I don't know. This room is lame. Why can't this just be the, the end of my suffering? Ooh, wait, we didn't go this down this way before. Hell yeah, we did it. We, that took forever, god. That was horrible. I hate... I don't... I'm not... No. I will say I'm not exactly the biggest fan of that room. I mean, it's cool and all, but... It's a little annoying. At least it's not... Okay, the worst room, I think, in all of Metroid is Metroid 2's... Uh, I think it's like a dark room in the tower. I'm just gonna do this because it's quicker. But, like, it's this dark room in the tower. The tower area. At least I think it's the tower area. And, like, you, it is pitch black. And it is terrifying, because I feel like it's so easy to get softlocked there, just because you have no idea where you're going. But, um, and then I think, what else? What else are we gonna... Oh, hey, energy tank. What was after that? I think the tier below was, uh, games that are still good. Oh, it was the Metro 2 remix. I put Samus Turns above AM2R. I love both of them, but AM2R, I just think, has the better bosses. Uh, not AM2R, uh, Samus Turns. Has the better bosses and Metroid fights. Oh, hey, another Emmerich room. Uh, shout out to Emmerich. Azor. He is epic. But, um, I don't know. I love AM2R and Sam's Turns. And honestly, I kind of need to replay Sam's Turns and AM2R back to back to really decide which one I like better. Because they're both fantastic remakes. Even if they go completely different directions about how they remake it. Um. Hmm. And then after that, we had the next tier, which is like. Metroid games that are fun for like one playthrough, and then I probably won't touch them for a long time. Starting off with Metroid Prime 3. I like Metroid Prime 3, but it also is nowhere near as good as the other two Metroid Prime games for me. It just kind of lacks a lot of what made those games special, and it kind of focuses on more traditional first person shooter elements, which I'm not really a big fan of first person shooters, I'll be honest. I like Metroid Prime just because it's so unlike any other first person shooter. Like, it is actively different from other first-person shooters, and I like that. Because I don't really like first-person shooters all that much. Um, and following that is Metroid Prime Federation Force. It gets a lot of hate, and I don't know why. It is more, again, of a traditional shooter-type deal, but I feel like it still has a lot of the exploration elements. And also, I need to replay Federation Force. I've only ever played it, really. I've only beaten it once. It is a very good game, though, that really just got screwed over by the fact that it was just released at the wrong time. Like, honestly, I feel like if they released the game... Like, I feel like Federation Force would have done so much better is if, okay, they released Federation Force, but at the same time, they also reveal Samus Returns in that same direct... Because, like, it was only a year away at that point. You could have at least announced the game. Huh. It would have been kind of nice to find this earlier. It wouldn't have been. Because we've kind of explored, you know, everything already. Curious. Oh, that was a secret. Huh. 
crazy how that works. I don't really feel like going for it, because it's like all the way at the edge. Again, I'm not really interested in 100%. We've already pretty much seen most of the rooms here, so we don't- I'm not really interested in seeing every single thing. Because at the end of the day, we've gotten all the major upgrades, which is kind of what I wanted. We got our revenge on Enigma. Alright, now we gotta comb every single surface for the upgrade. Oh, hey. That's a little suspicious, don't you think? There it is. Okay, where are you guys coming from? Alright, give me that. But again, I'm not gonna get every single upgrade. Plus, that's probably gonna be the one upgrade we miss. Like, I just wanna... I feel like we spend the entire time combing for upgrades, you know. We're already at an hour and 26. It's already it's already 1.30 for me. Let me rest. Please. Alright, let's head down. Um, and then, in the tier below that, we have... It's kind of the It's Alright tier. Like, these games aren't the best... But, you know, it's still kind of fun to play them. Like, you can pop it in, have a good time with, like, friends and stuff. I would say uh, Metroid Other M falls in this tier. Listen, the Other M story is actual hot garbage, and it's terrible, and it ruins Samus as a character, but the actual gameplay isn't the worst thing in the world. Again, it's not great. I did have fun when I played Other M, though. I did have a lot of fun. Because I was also playing it alongside Hunters, and let's just say, Hunters maybe want to play wanted me to play Other M so bad. Like, I probably enjoyed Other M more because I was playing it next to Hunters, which is a game I hate way more. But yeah, Other M was annoying at some parts, but honestly, I had a good time with it. I even 100%ed it, because I thought it was fun. The, sequen the, the secret hunt at the end was very fun. Phase on room, I don't know. But then uh, we have Metroid 2, which, you know, isn't the best thing in the world, but it has its charm, honestly. It has a lot of charm to it. Alright. Well, I think we've fought in two Metroids so far. Maybe three. So, that's our Metroid counter. I always, like, keep an XP. Like, never fight any of Metroids. Oh, I hate this room again, but at least we can space jump over it. But, like, yeah, I just always found that interesting. But, yeah, Metroid 2 is fun. It's not really that... It hasn't really held up that well, but it's still fun. It's still fun to pop in 50 minutes, hear the surface of SR388 theme, and then just kill, like, the first couple Metroids. And then, finally, ending off the tier list is... Uh, the, at the bottom tier, the games in the Metroid series I actively don't like playing. Starting off with Metroid 1. Metroid 1 is not good. It has never been good. It is just plain not fun to play. And then, at the very bottom is Hunters. Not because of the multiplayer. I will say the multiplayer of Hunters is very fun. It's just that you can't really play it nowadays that easily. Because unlike Federation... But the thing is, Federation Force is fun single player. Hunters, playing the single player, is not fun. The single player is so poorly designed, like, it is the, it's just not fun. It's so much more tedious. Like, Metroid 1, I can at least give the benefit of that. It was the first game in the series, you know. It, it didn't know what the hell it even was at the time. Whereas Metroid Prime Hunters, like, was deep into the series, it's like, it's just bad. Okay, it's bad. Oh, hey, the Metroid containment again. Okay, kill you. Okay, there actually have been a decent amount of Metroids this time around. I feel like a lot of times there just kind of isn't. Alright, let's grab this upgrade real quick. So we did miss quite a few upgrades, like 18 of them, I think. That's fine. I'll post the full map on... Well, if you're... Actually, I showed the full map, so never mind. You don't really need the full map to really get the idea of what this all is. Oh, this room is so weird. I'm not a fan of this room. This room always, like, confuses me. Oh, you have Spring Ball, please. So, I mean, that makes our life a little bit easier. I never understand this room. Because, like, everything looks the same, you know? So, it kind of confuses me. Move that out of the way. Spring ball it. Alright, do that. This room just confuses the hell out of me. And to be fair, I think I probably could have beaten the other Enigma world. I was just kind of exhausted because it was like 2 and I, have work, I had work tomorrow. So I think theoretically I could have totally beaten it. Like in this area. I just didn't need to get spring ball in that one area. So I probably could have beaten it, honestly. Also, do we just not grab the missile? 
No, we did. Okay. I'm not sure. I think we theoretically could have beaten it. I just think I was very tired that day. Like, very tired. I was very tired. I wanted to go to sleep because I had work. An eight-hour shift to deal with. Which, to be fair, the eight-hour shift wasn't really that bad. Like, most of my eight-hour shifts, like, the last few hours are just me kind of pulling out a book and just reading. Like, I've been rereading Jurassic Park the novel because I love Jurassic Park so much. In fact, my my last big hyperfixation before this Metroid one was Jurassic Park. Um, okay, Mother Brain time. 205 missiles, and we might be missing an energy tank, but, like, is that really anything bad? Alright, Mother Brain Prime. I'm scared. Um, I like that you can kind of, oh, it's like a, kind of like a nice tease in Mother Brain. I like whenever bosses do that. Where you can see the boss before you can actually access it. Ooh, that's interesting. I'm not ready for Mother Brain yet. And more missiles. Okay, nothing over there. Alright, well. Let's head back to Mother Brain. A little bit of a detour. Alright, how do we get down? Okay. I'm going into the Mother Brain layer. Uh. I think we are. Okay, can I stop bomb jumping by accident? Thank you. Of course, I bomb jump when I don't want to. Uh. I am deeply confused. Oh, I see. Wait. Uh. I'm so con. What? Okay, I really wish these Rinkas would stop hit- Okay, these Rinkas stop hitting me, thank you. Really? Really? That's what it was? You gotta, like, oh, dude, this room. This is the most overly complicated room I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my god, I hate this room a lot. I, I don't like this room. I really don't like this room. I am, I am not, not a big fan of this one, I will say. Like, come on. Really? I get that you're supposed to, you know, take care of all your surroundings, but that one seemed a little bit stupid. It's like, I'm I'm looking at my surroundings, and you gave me, like, all these, like, red herring rooms that it makes it so it's really kind of annoying to tell what is even real or not. Uh, yeah, no, no, this was kind of a... Yeah, no, I'm not, this is not, I'm not feeling this room, I will be honest. This room was no bueno. And you're not even at the good level to hit them. Epic. Yo. Alright, uh, let's just take care of you. Alright, well, you're dead. Alright, let's finish the super world. Okay, honestly, this was a good Enigma world. I did like it, aside from this last room. This last room is quite literally the only room I actively disliked about it, and I am... This is the only room I actively disliked, I will say. Only room I actively disliked is because I had no fucking clue what the game wanted me to do. Because there was no really good clues or anything. Like, you had to look... Like, I found pretty much every secret except for the last one, apparently. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna stop complaining about this room. Again, I'm gonna cut out a lot of that embarrassing stuff. Oh, no. Really? This room again? We're dealing with this garbage? Please tell me I have enough missiles, come on. 
We should have enough. But why is it this room again? No! This is the worst room again in the escape sequence. Man, we got we got really unlucky here, didn't we? Alright, I don't know if we're gonna have enough. No. Yeah, oh my god. We, like, barely had enough. Jeez. Think how we got all those missile expansions. I do know where we missed everything else, though, but, like... Ugh. Man. Well, we at least got a revenge, right? Although, this is actually the tightest escape sequence I've ever seen, so we gotta be very careful. Ooh, man, that was, that was, that was, that was scary. But we did it. We have done it. We have done it. We have finished. We've finished. We've gotten our revenge on Enigma. It may have beaten us the first time. It beat us last time, but this time we have conquered it. Oh my god, that was... That was something, all right. Ooh, man, that was rough. I don't know what the Sagiru does, I'll be honest. Like, what does that do? It still doesn't really... Oh man, that was... That was something. Man, that was... That was rough. Yo, why can't Metroid crawl? Man, that was... Oh man, that was... That was crazy. Oh, we did it though. Yo, we did it. Woo. Victory. Accomplishment. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna be taking a break from Metroid Plants for a bit again. Um, I love Enigma, but... I think we've kind of exhausted the possibilities of it for now. We've finally beat it again. Um, but um, don't worry. March Troid is going to be full of a ton of Metroid content. I have a lot of ideas of stuff to do. Um, so yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.